Hey guys, welcome back to Keeping Up With China. Today we're back with another video. I hope I don't sound like I'm screaming because my AC is on and I'm trying to like overpower it. But anyways you guys, welcome back. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back to this wonderful little thing that I have going on here. Um, yeah, so today, um, well first and foremost, you guys, um, if you guys see me looking like this in my other videos just know that today I'm just on a roll I'm feeling good so I'm just like let me just record a few videos and I didn't feel like um, since taking on my makeup because I really like the way it looked this one time because my makeup be looking crazy at time y'all but anyways that's not the point that's not why we're here today um so today I'm gonna be talking about um nursing and um like a lot of people has been asking me how's it been like have i been second guessing you know nursing right now at you know right now being in the uh well right now and us being in, in the middle of a crisis um yeah a lot of people people have been asking me have i been you know second guessing it you know starting into nursing or being being a nurse and stuff like that so i'm just like why not make a little video about it and just you know get it all out there you, you guys so um yeah so it's been about six seven months since i've um since i've been a nurse um a registered nurse you guys and um i definitely did not um i would i was not expecting this whole virus thing to get this out of control i thought it was just something that was gonna come and just go by you know pass by just very quickly but it's been very um it's been very like very hard you guys um 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 the question you know if i regret not not even regret but like second guessing nursing i'm not gonna lie you guys some days i wake up and i'm like i have to go to work maybe today is the day that i'm gonna catch this thing you know like some days i'm like oh my god i got i have to go to work because nowadays like especially in my hospital i'm pretty sure it's, it's like this in every hospital but but i but i really think my hospital has been doing a pretty good job now like you know at first everything was kind of upside down like it was it was crazy like it was crazy because we, we we were running out of supply not even that we were running out it's just that they were trying to preserve the ones that we have because we, we were low on supplies and stuff so we would have to you know use our masks for weeks i mean not weeks but like a few days and stuff and i don't know being a new nurse in this time it's really hard because you know everything that we've learned you know like like for example um a lot of things that are were considered hazardous hazard i say hazardous 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 okay y'all know what i'm trying to say you know now it's like norm you know it's okay it's normal and i'm just like okay you know like you know for example the procedure max that we you know when we go into a patient's room we're supposed to take it out inside the, that that room th 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 you know throw it away but now we, we go oh shit i mean at the beginning at you know at least we would go a whole shift with just one mask or a couple of shifts with just one mask you know it, it was crazy but i mean now the supplies it, i mean it's still low but it's getting a little bit better because you know this thing is real and you know they you know they can't put us at risk like that because that's that, that's uh, our lives you know that are being like we're being exposed to this thing every day so it's like we have to protect ourselves so we're not spreading this thing you know so I think they're doing a better job um but like i said um i wouldn't say that you know i completely i'm like oh i don't want to do no nursing anymore because you guys um um i worked in the covid floor where like um where there's like positive patients that are um positive for the covid um i worked in that floor um i think twice now and you guys it is it's it's very sad like it's it's very sad like some of them are there for like weeks you know without seeing their families they're just stuck in this room they cannot leave the room so it's very hard you know being and then for us 
when we go in the room we have to just do do what, what, what we have to, to do and go and leave because you know we can't stay in that room so you know so long because we, we don't want to be exposed for too long you know in that environment so it's very hard especially you know when you have your patients you know crying saying how they're lonely how they you know wish this would all go away you know it's very hard but I would say um, you know just being there for the patients and also like you know helping them even if it's the smallest little thing because a lot of the time I feel like you know like what, what, what I do is not like I feel like I'm not really making an impact but you know a lot of you know a lot of uh, patients and stuff and their families really do appreciate you know everything that we do you know um, t taking their temperatures giving them their meds and all that stuff all of these little things that us as new nurses we take as like you know the smallest thing they they you know really take it as a really big um, you know thing you know and it's really nice when you know family members they thank you for what you've done and all that stuff um like last week i received like this really nice bouquet of flowers from a family um um because i was taking care of their um mom for, for like two or three nights and stuff so like it's very re um, re re rewarding so times like that really helps to put things into perspective why you became a nurse and why you're doing what you're doing because a lot of like because there are days where like you would be like oh my gosh why like what did I get myself into why did I choose nursing like there are days like you will question yourself you will question your whole career you guys and they're like for sure but you know I, I truly feel like you know the good days definitely outweighs the bad days for sure uh, it just keeps like you know it, keep, it keeps you going um, you know it really helps a lot so um but i mean right now you guys our new normal unfortunately is the covid and um i don't know how long this thing is gonna last you know some people think it's it's it's, it's i really think this thing is gonna go for maybe the rest of the year that's just my opinion okay don't quote me i i just think you know especially if they're trying to open back if they're trying to open the whole country back again um, we still don't have a, we still don't have an, um, have a vaccine and vaccine takes about a year or a year and a half to actually make so it's like we still don't have any of that so if they reopen the the um, the um, <laughs> the country again like I mean people and and people are, most people do not take precaution I mean they, they would say they do take precaution but like I said I've seen a lot of memes and pictures on like um so social media where like they put on gloves but then they're eating with their gloves i'm like what and did they have on the mask but their mask is like in their mouth i'm like what so it's like even if you if you tell them oh be be very precautious and all that stuff you know um most of us are not going to be precautious most of us will you know will still be out there infecting others and i feel like you know it'll just like it's just gonna I I really think it's gonna get worse if we don't take all these precautious measures and also for them to actually try to find a, a vaccine first until they actually you know open the whole country I really don't like being inside you guys I mean I I like I do like inside but the fact that I cannot go outside because you know because I'm being told to it's like okay you know so so I mean I don't like it but I really think that's our best you know that's the best thing that we could do right now is to just stay inside and you know just not go anywhere and you know because that's you know go, go, going to help decrease the amount of people that, that that's being infected that's going to save a lot of lives and that's just going to make it better you know until they can figure out what they're going to do you know but you guys i just hope you guys are staying safe out there please um you know if you have any comments leave it down below how y'all doing you know like let me know how y'all been doing in this quarantine i know it's hard like it's been like over it's been like a month and a half now i believe wait no they started the quarantine this month but this whole virus it's been like about i think it's been almost two months now so 
it's like it's hard like you know people are literally dying like you know it's 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 crazy and it's sad you know but you guys this is just our new normal like as new <laughs> nurses like this is not what i expected it to be this is not how i especially the you know the new nurses that literally just graduated that just started a job i know it's gonna be really different from what they expected but but you guys just keep at it you know um learn as much as you can it's going to be okay just take it a day at a time that's all i can say take it a day at a time like nursing that's all you can do because every day you, you'll go in you you don't know what you're expecting you don't know what you're going to expect like you, you just don't know what's going to happen so you just got to go in there and know that you're just going to conquer the night whatever comes your way you will be fine you know and th that's how i try to go into into work every night like you know I tell like um, while I drive to, to work, I'm like I tell myself, you know, whatever the, this night brings, you're gonna be fine. You will get through it because I have great team members. I have you know a team that you know they help you out. Like if you you need anything, they will help you out. So um yeah, you guys like nursing has been great. You know, it's been great. <laughs> it's been, yeah, it's really been you know hard a little hard, but um you know there's there's not much you can do. And I'm just very grateful that you know have a job too you know like not everybody have a job at this um at this um time or whatever so it's so i'm really grateful that you know i'm in the, this profession you know i still have a job and i'm helping others i'm still doing what i love so that's that you guys so um yeah so um i would say no i don't regret being a nerd i mean um being in this profession um it's hard yes some some days i do um and, you know second guess it yes but still till this day i don't think i don't see myself doing anything else i don't know this is what i was meant to do i guess and yeah so far so good you guys um yeah so if you guys have any questions concerns leave your questions and concerns down below let's chat up you know just let me know what y'all think down below thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys on my next video. Bye!